Veronica, where are you going with suitcase? Oh, I thought I mentioned it. Mentioned what? I am spending the weekend at my fiancé's place. When did you start that? Did you do a secret wedding? I dare not marry without informing you. You are going to be my chief bridesmaid. Why are you going to spend the weekend with a man you are not married to? We are getting married soon. He has met my family and he already proposed. I don't think there is anything wrong with going there to spend the weekend. Besides, what if he snores? I need to know. You planned on catching him in the act of snoring? Vero, this is not you. You are a Christian girl. This is not right. Oh, I know what you are thinking. Don't worry, we are not going to have sex. John and I discussed it. Why are you going there if you're not going to have sex? You want us to have sex? No. You are going to sleep there as human not as a spirit. Meaning? Even if you do not have sex. Other sexual activities such as kissing is inevitable. Praise, kissing is not a sin. Will you kiss him in front of your pastor? What? Thought so no. Only at the altar on our wedding. So what is the difference? My taxi is here. This discussion can continue some other time. Collins Avenue, right? Yes. I should not kiss the man I am getting married to. I should not sleep over at his house. The Bible didn't even mention those things. Praise can be so extra with her Christianity. Ma'am, I know you are not talking to me but can I say something? Okay. It is true that the Bible didn't mention kissing explicitly, but do you believe kissing is a sexual activity? Yes, I believe kissing is a sexual activity. Since kissing is a sexual activity, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. You are to run from sexual sin. But I am getting married in few months. Until you are married, it is a sin. Okay, thanks. I have reached my destination. Babe, how did you get in? Have you forgotten that I have spare key? That is true. Like you have the key to my heart. Yes, I do. How long are you staying for? Just the weekend. Is that not too short? Babe, you know as Christians, we are not supposed to live together before marriage. We are not living together, we are just spending time together. Under the same roof for two nights. It doesn't count as living together. Don't be scared. As long as I have proposed to you, living together is not a sin. Are you sure? Don't you trust me again? I trust you. But we won't have sex, right? I can't guarantee that. Besides, I have met your parents. We are practically married. It's okay. Let's go inside. I want to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be waiting. The driver's words and praise's words are echoing in my ears. Praise said it is not right to sleep over with a man I'm not yet married to. The driver said I should run from sexual immorality. I think it was God speaking through them. Or what are the chances of meeting a driver that can give such advice? If he truly loves me, he would wait till we are married. I am going back home. Where is this babe? Why is she taking forever to leave the bathroom? I should probably check on her. Why didn't you come to the room? Why are you just standing here? Brother John, I can't stay over, I am going home. Brother John? You are calling me Brother John? Then you are going home? You are acting strange. Did something happen in the bathroom? You can't say you are going home. That is not possible. I'm sorry but I have to leave. Veronica, what sort of joke is this? Is this a prank? If this is a prank, please stop. It is not a prank. I don't want to sin against God. How is it a sin against God? Do you think I don't know God? I am the Bible study coordinator. I know the word more than you. Trust me when I say it is not a sin. I want to believe you, but I'm choosing to believe God. You should believe God too. Bye brother John. If you leave, that's the end. I can't be married to a woman that doesn't trust me as the head. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. 
Watch me leave. This must be a dream. Someone please wake me. So Veronica has grown so much wings. She walked out on me. If not because I don't want to beat a woman. One blow is enough. Useless girl. Praise, I can't believe John served me breakfast because I insisted on not sleeping over at his place. Who serves breakfast at night? The guy is something else. What are you saying? Should he have served it in the morning? Is breakfast not served in the morning? Praise, stop acting dumb. John broke up with me because I refused to sleep over. Thank you Jesus. You are happy. Yes I am. Any Christian that makes such demand is of no good and a disgrace to the body of Christ. Please let him go. I know it's painful but please, this is for the best. John is not your husband. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I am proud of you. God is proud of you. I'm glad you are here. Do you need anything? Not yet. I'm fine. Don't forget that I have to be in church for first service tomorrow. I am leading the worship. I know. I also have to be in church for first service. I am leading Bible study. Since we attend the same church, we can leave together. I don't think that will work. What if someone sees me coming out of your car? Don't worry, I can drop you two streets before the church. Then you'll trek. No, I can't trek. I'll be late. I'll just take Uber. That is better. I like that you have sense. Pharaoh refused to sleep over here. I don't have time for nonsense. I broke up with her yesterday. Really? Don't worry. I am available for you at any time. Caro Caro, let's go in. Fine girl like you should not be seen in a public transport. That was why you stopped to pick me? Yes. And because I do see you in church. Thanks. What is your name? Betty. What a nice name. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. Oh. That is good. I'd like to know you better and be your friend. Can I take you to my house? It's fine. Your house is beautiful. Thanks. I like you, Betty. Really? Yes. I want to be your mentor. I'll be teaching you Bible study and we will be praying together. I like that. We can start next time. Let's just use today to get to know each other. That's fine. Praise, I have been hearing a rumor. What is it about? That John impregnated a teenager in the church. You don't say. John your ex? The Bible study leader? Say one. Wow. That is really bad. I didn't know he was that bad. I didn't know to. God really saved you. You dodged a bullet. Thanks to God, you and that driver. Thank God you listened. This is such a sad thing to hear. It's barely three months we broke up. May God help him fix his life. Amen. I want you to meet someone. Who? My cousin in Texas. Why? He needs a wife and you need a husband. Ah. Praise. Well, I just think you both will be compatible for each other. Don't worry, he is a faithful child of God. Okay. Hello Veronica. My name is Caleb. So good to meet you. My cousin has told me so much about you. I hope the things she told you were positive things? Yes. Beautiful things. Okay. I want to get to know you better. Okay, that's fine. I'm really trusting God that this is what I have been waiting for. God's will be done. Amen. How was the date with Caleb? It was fine. I think he is a cool guy. I really wanted to ask him if he believes in sex before marriage but it's our first date. I know he does not believe in sex before marriage but it is better to ask him. Maybe on the second date or when he calls. Alright. Thank you for always having my back. And for me pastor. Yes I did. Brother John. There is a rumor flying around the church concerning you. I really hope it is not true. What rumor sir? 
Do you know Betty in Tina's church? Betty? Yes. Betty. Yes, I do. She is pregnant. Wow. Yes. I heard you are responsible for her pregnancy. Me? Pastor Maxwell, that is not possible. Yes, I know Betty. She is like a daughter to me. I can't do such thing to her. You are saying you don't know that she is pregnant? No, sir. And as she is, I am not responsible for it. Betty is a 16 years old teenage girl. I just hope you have no hand in this. You can leave. The church will surely investigate. Thank you, sir. So good to see you again. You are so beautiful. Thanks. So good to see you too. How have you been? I have been good. You? I am well. I really want to get to know you. What do you like and dislike? I dislike deceptive and manipulative people. I like honesty, peaceful atmosphere, kindness. Okay, that's a good one. What about you? I also dislike manipulative people. I like serenity. That's cool. I like I said the first time we met, I have heard amazing things about you from my cousin. I want to keep knowing you without wasting your time. I want us to be friends with marriage in view. Okay, can I ask you some questions? Sure you can. What is your view on sex before marriage? I am a Christian not just a churchgoer. I believe strongly in what the Bible says about premarital sex. Fornication is a sin. What if it is just touching and kissing? It is still a sexual sin. The purpose of touching and kissing is also to derive sexual pleasure. It is better to totally flee from every appearance of evil. Wow. Do guys like you still exist? Yes we do. Though there are many wolves in sheep clothing. God has many children who are still upholding sexual purity. I tell young people like me not to settle for anything less of what God wants for them. There are still many young men and women who have not compromised. Sexual purity is easier when you see your body as the temple of the living God. You won't want to defile that temple with sin. You know flesh will always want to prove weak. Yes. The Bible says in Galatians 5.19, When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear, sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasure. All these and more are desires of the flesh. Verse 24 says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. 26. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Wow. Are you a pastor? No, I'm not. I am a child of God. What unit do you belong to in the church? Ushering unit. What about you? Visitation unit. Let's order some food. Okay. Praise, praise. Someone is happy. I guess your date went well. Yes, it went well. Way more than my expectations. Your cousin is so different from John. Yes. He is a perfect gentleman. I want the whole gist. Sure. I'll just you. Where are you going? To get groceries. Let's have movie night. Please get popcorn and Fanta. All right. Are you pregnant? Are you not up to 18 years old? You told me to meet you here just to ask me questions. Answer my questions. Yes, I am pregnant and I am 16. So you lied to me that you are 18 years? Who is responsible for your pregnancy? You of course. How can you be pregnant for me? You know I am a highly respected person in church. I am the Bible study leader. Please don't tarnish my image. You have to get rid of it. Get rid of what? The pregnancy. No I can't. Betty please. Just mention any amount that you want. I will give it to you. I don't want your money. What if I die? You can't die. I know a good doctor. Let me think about it. I'll wait for your response. Thanks. Where are you coming from? When did you get home? Answer my question. This is 10 p.m. What is a teenager doing outside by 10 p.m.? I went to see a friend. A friend by this time? Boy or girl? Why do you care now? I am your mother. I know. Where are you also coming from? Why do you care about where I am coming from? Don't talk to me like that. 
I want to sleep good night. What is wrong with this girl? I know I come home late every night, but she has never been this rude to me. And why is she looking pale? Is she sick? I need to ask her. What am I going to do about this pregnancy? I am still in high school. I don't want to be like my mother. She gave birth to me at 17. Should I just collect money from John and abort? What did I just hear you say? You are pregnant. Why didn't you knock? Please tell me it's not true. Who is the useless guy that got you pregnant? You have no right to be angry. You never really cared about me. I don't even know my father. You just come home any time you like. Okay, I am no more angry. Please you can't be pregnant. Okay, I will abort it. I didn't know I was going to get pregnant. He was taking care of me when you were not available. No, you can't abort. My elder sister died during abortion. Who is the guy and where did you meet him? At the church down the street. He told me to abort. The same church you attend? Yes. What? I am going there tomorrow morning. I must see the pastor of the church. What kind of useless church guy sleeps with a teenager? I thought Chuck people are better. Where is the pastor of this church? Bring out that useless guy that impregnated my 16 years old daughter. Come out. Come out. Madam, who are you? Why are you shouting? Are you the pastor of the guy that impregnated my daughter? No. I am pastor's secretary. Do you have an appointment? Appointment? Do you want me to scatter this place? Someone from this church impregnated my daughter. You are harassing me for appointment. Please stay calm. You will see the pastor soon. Pastor, a woman is here to see you. What does she want? She said someone from this church impregnated her daughter. Please let her in. Hello. How can I help you? I am Betty's mom. One of your members impregnated my daughter. Please, do you know the member's name? I think she said John. He even told my daughter to abort the pregnancy. I am very sorry about this. We are already investigating the matter. How is Betty? She is fine. Do you attend this church with her? No. She comes alone. We will get to the root of this. I promise. Thank you, Pastor. You really disappointed the church. A whole Bible study leader that people look up to. I thought you said she is your spiritual daughter. So you have been sleeping with girls in the name of spiritual father. I'm sorry, Pastor. It was the devil. The devil? Really? You have been suspended as the Bible study leader. You are to cater for that girl's knee till she gives birth. You are to play your role as the father of that child and take full responsibility for the child's upkeep. All right, sir. I am very sorry, sir. Get out of my office. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I love you so much. I am happy I made the right choice. I love you too. You are the best. See who is now my sister-in-law. That's me. Thank you for introducing me to my husband. My Caleb is the best. I like how you said my husband. I can't wait to call someone my husband. Don't worry, God has many sons. He will send you one of his sons soon in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.